In this video, we will continue building our image recognition scavenger hunt. In the last video, we were able to take a photo of a particular item, see its image, and then if the particular item we were looking for appeared, we turned the entire screen green. Now we're going to actually start working with a list of items. That way we can maybe start searching for more than one. So in this video, we're just going to create the list like you can see here. And then we're going to make it so that when you tap on an a item in the list, so if I tap on computer, then the text computer appears inside the label and the background color of the item here becomes green. So if I tap on chair, the it becomes green, I see it. And if I type on the helmet item, then it also turns green and I see it here. So let's get started making this. Um, I will click live test that way our my phone is showing exactly what's on my screen so the first thing I'm going to do is scroll all the way down in this list of components and get the data viewer list and drag it onto the screen the data viewer list will allow me to display a list of items so now I'm going to click to connect this to a data source I'll scroll down because I have a lot of these and click to create new I'll create my own table and then I'm going to call this my items database and click create uh, so I will select the um, items database that I just made and now I'm going to click view data so this is a data table um, and we're going to use this to hold um, the items that we need to look up. I'm going to change this uh, column name from column one to say all of the items. And then I'm going to create the list of items here. So we'll make the first one be computer. We'll make the second item to be helmet. And we'll make the third item to be chair. So I'll close out of this. Now the data viewer uh, list is not in the format that I want. I really just want to see the list of items. So I'm able to click on this guy and change the format. And I'm going to click here for the uh, title so that there's only one item inside of the list. Then I can select what I want the title to be, which column. So I'll select all of the items. And now we see I have a list of computer, helmet, and chair. So now let's go to the blocks to begin adding functionality to this. So I'll go to the blocks. And we see that we have a new component here, data viewer list. I'll click on the drawer. And I'm going to grab the very first block in the drawer. Uh, when uh, data viewer item click. So each element here inside of this list is, uh, is an item. So this will trigger whenever I tap on chair or I tap on computer. Um, row ID will refer to the particular row that this is in. So this first row has an ID, the second row has an ID, this third one does. So the next thing I want to do is to be able to make it so that when I tap on computer or helmet, that I'm able to see the word that was here inside of this label. So like we've done before, I'm going to get a uh, set label text block. But this time I'm going to scroll down and go to our data sources drawer and get this block, uh, the get value from items database. So this will allow us to get information from that table. And then I will um, give it the row ID. So this way um, it will get the value from the particular row that, I, that I've sh shown um, from that uh, column of all of the items. So let's test this out. Um, so if I hit play for web preview, and I tap on computer, we'll see that computer shows up here. If I type on helmet, 
then Helmet appears. I can also do the same thing on my mobile device. I can type on computer, and computer will appear, or type in or tap Helmet, and Helmet will show up. Let's go back to editing. And the last thing I want to do, at least for this video, is to make it so that when I tap on one of these items, it turns green. So I'm going to click the little arrow next to this data viewer list, and then I can get the layout wrapper. So this uh, is kind of like a, the row that exists for each item. So if I open this up, I can get the block that gives me the uh, access to the background color. So I'm going to put this underneath. So for the layout wrapper, I'm going to pick a particular row. So I'm going to give it the row ID from before. And I'm going to set its background color to green. So let's uh, test this out on the web. If I tap on computer, we'll see this turns green and set this labels text to say computer. Same thing with chair and with helmet. And I can also do this on the mobile device. When I tap on computer, it turns green and with chair and helmet. 